see but you I, too. But I have to say, the most, probably the most helpful thing in my life has been my, my husband, who I think having a, an important, caring relationship with someone who, who really cares about me the way he loves me, that's been so healing for me in, in, in being able to have that sort of relationship. Just briefly, what advice would you give to anyone who's suffering from depression and not quite know what to do? I would say the most important thing is to keep talking to people. Don't close yourself away and not talk. Um, find out about it. Find out about it from good sources of information. There are reliable sources. And if you're feeling the way I was feeling, please go and see the doctor. That's the Linda Gass. Thank you very much indeed for being with us. Now, there's nothing more frustrating than trying online to buy a skirt or a pair of leggings and finding the website won't show you a close-up, doesn't help with sizes, and if you do want to buy, it takes forever to get you through the checkout. So, how do they make it work well? Joining us as part of our week-long series of interviews with women in digital technology is Rita Bella. She's a UX or user experience designer at Net of Water, helping develop their website and their app. She explained what they mean by user experience. User experience is supposed to be about making every service that you access around the company the simplest possible, easy to use but also clean. So what goes into designing a sort of site when you can sell clothes like this one? So that includes many different aspects. Normally people think it's all about the user interface, which means only what you see, but it also includes how the information is presented to the customer, how easily they can go, for instance, through the purchase path in order to complete the purchase for a smooth checkout. Also, how easily they can evaluate the product, as in your... And then all the content surrounding it, the details about the 